Morning everybody, I'm gonna show you a quick step-by-step -step on making biochar for your garden, potting mix, seedling mix, or whatever. Okay, so it was my brother's 30th birthday last night and we had a fire and these are all the coals that are left. So I just... Get all these coals and just chuck them into a bucket. I've already started. I've left a little bit of ash on the coals because the idea behind biochar and activating it is that the charcoal is absorbent, so it will absorb minerals and nutrients and is porous as well, so it's perfect for microbes and fungi to thrive, thus helping the plants. Okay, so I've got a bit of biochar in the bucket. Now I'm sure there's a million and one ways to crush it up, but I'm just using this rock and I just get in there crush that charcoal up. Now I'm going to use this charcoal for all different things. The bigger chunks I'll be using for potting mix for a tree and the finer stuff I'm going to mix into this seedling mix that I've been making. So, just get a good smash up. I like to really get in there. Now you want to activate the charcoal before you put it in your soil because the first thing it will do in your soil is start sucking up nutrients. And that's alright for future plants that are going to be in the soil years down the line. But you want to soak it in some kind of compost tea or some nutrient-rich nutrient liquid for about a week to three weeks so it fully soaks up the nutrients already so when it goes into your soil there's no room left for the charcoal to soak up any more nutrients and it start giving straight away and it also helps soil structure as well helping it stay light and fluffy and preventing runoff so we've got that going now and oh, I've put it somewhere difficult I made this compost tea out of the bean leaves I have to put my phone in between my legs for a second Guys. Okay. Got it. Okay, we're back. So I've been making this compost tea for about two months now, and the pigeons leave a lot of droppings in certain areas in my backyard, so I've been mixing that in to help activate the tea to help the leaves break down. I figure pigeon manure is similar to chicken manure and will work the same way. So we've got this nice smelly compost tea and I'm going to have to use my foot to pour it because I'm using my hand, other hand to hold the camera. And we'll just pour that in there. Oh. <laughs> I can already hear it bubbling up and absorbing the nutrients. Okay, where's my little fork? Not my fork, my cake tool, which is also perfect for gardening. You see them in op shops, they can be quite cheap. And they're perfect little spades. And 
now mix that all up. Look at that. You can feel it activating. And I keep putting rainwater over these rotted bean leaves and making more compost tea. You can use worm castings, make compost tea out of manure. A lot of different kinds of green leaves make compost tea. It's good to look it up first because there are a few plants that aren't that great for compost tea. And oh, there you have it. Activating charcoal biochar as they call it for your garden. Now we'll let that sit for three weeks, really absorb the nutrients and it also absorbs a lot of water and can act like a sponge in the soil holding the water in helping plants through dry times. But yeah. Have a good day guys. Thanks for watching.